this is what we are going to create with the help of geometry node and particle system on our channel think sci-fi first of all add a icosphere then apply 4 in the subdivision also increase the radius up to 2 click 1 for front view in number pad then press tab for edit mode select face select mode if you try to select half of the sphere only the front part will be selected to select the both front and back part enable wireframe mode then select more than half of the sphere then click x and faces this will delete the faces except the faces which are not selected then come back to the object mode by pressing tab key select the solid view and make a duplicate by pressing shift d hide the first sphere then select the second one and go to the edit mode try to select the sphere from the bottom accepting only the one line then press x and faces if you find any extra faces select it randomly and delete it now in this single line select the random faces and delete it you will see later in the tutorial why i am doing this come back to object mode and make to more duplicate of it by pressing shift d two times select the icosphere 001 then go to edit mode delete all the faces except the right part now when you hide other two icosphere you will see the only remaining part in icosphere 001 now hide the previous icosphere and unhide the icosphere 002 then go to edit mode delete all the part except middle one then come back to object mode and hide the icosphere 002 and unhide icosphere 003 now again go to edit mode and delete all the part except left one now unhide all the four icosphere here you are not able to identify the other three duplicate icosphere we will use the duplicate three icosphere for particle system later in the tutorial now go to geometry node select the first icosphere and click new add instance on point by pressing shift a in between hide all the three icosphere for a while add a uv sphere and connect it with instance reduce its radius to make it smooth add set set smooth add distribution point on faces between group input and instance on point with this you can control the density of a sphere play with seats if required add a join geometry then connect cylinder with it make a duplicate of all the three node instance on point set set smooth and uv sphere then connect it with cylinder increase side segment in cylinder this will add more sphere now play with cylinder and uv spheres value to get the best result add transform node in between cylinder and instance on point move it in z location if you want now come back to layout and unhide icosphere 001 and select it then go to physics property and add a particle system particle system is all about experimentation so play with all the values of particle system don't just stick with my values i am using some random values just for demonstration purpose decrease the number and in field weight decrease the gravity completely decrease the start frame up to minus 50 and in frame to 250 and lifetime to 30 also enable the rotation then add a uv sphere and move it in x axis by pressing gx and also apply shade smooth to it then in render then select icosphere 001 and rename it as particle 01 select object in render as 
and in instance object select the UV sphere. If you want to hide the object which is emitting the particles, uncheck the show emitter in render and for viewport, uncheck show emitter in viewport display. Play with scale and scale randomness. I want the flow of this particle system in the upward direction. For that, add wind force field. Move it towards the bottom side. Then in physics property, play with winds, strength and flow. Higher the flow value, slower the particle system will move. So play with the both strength and flow value carefully. Then select the part icosphere 002 and rename it as particle 2. Select it and add a particle system to it. Select the same particles which you have applied to the first particle. And don't forget to click number 2 beside it. Then select the first particle. Go to cache and bake it. After bake all the effect whether it is wind or turbulence it gets saved with the particles now if you make any changes in the wind strength or flow the first particle will not get affected by it so select the second particles and play with the flow value of wind i want the wind to affect the second particle little bit less than the first one so for that increase the flow value now go to the particles property and play with the values for some randomness and again go to cas and bake it also now go to the third icosphere and rename it as particle 03 unhide it and select it similarly go to particles property apply a particles system and select the first particle to it and again click the number two beside it make some changes in the values for some randomness again select wind and go to physics property this time i want to reduce its flow less than other two particle system for that again increase the value of flow Again go to particles property and in cache bake it. After baking all the three particles you can delete the wind. There is no need of wind after baking. See the particles are still moving. Add a plane and move it in Z location towards downward and scale it up to 20. Go to edit mode by pressing tab key. Click mouse right key and apply subdivision and enter 50 in number of cuts. Come back to object mode by pressing tab key again. Go to modifiers property and apply subdivision surface then displacement. Click new and select the symbol for selecting texture. Select cloud in type. If you want you can decrease the strength in displacement. Again go to texture property and play with the values. Select the plane, mouse right key and set smooth. In render view, it is looking grey because we have not applied any lighting to the scene. So first add a point light to the scene. I want it to be in the center of the main object. Then play with its power and you can also play with its color. Now we will add two aerial light to the scene. You can play with any lighting setup whatever you want. Play with the light's power and color also. I am clicking one for the front view and G for moving it and R for rotation. Decrease the world color to completely black. After lighting we will add a camera by pressing shift A. Then press 7 for top view and add a bezier curve. Scale it by pressing S and moving your mouse. Then in curve property increase both the values to 64. Select the camera and decrease its focal length. 
मेक इट्स रोटेशन वैल्यूज जीरो देन गो टू ऑब्जेक्ट कंस्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी एंड एड फॉलो पाथ एंड सेलेक्ट बेजी कर्व इन टारगेट देन एड टारगेट टू देन सेलेक्ट द ऑब्जेक्ट विच यू वॉन्ट टू सी फ्रॉम योर कैमरा व्यू इन टारगेट सेलेक्ट द बेजी कर्व एंड प्रेस जीरो फॉर द कैमरा व्यू नाउ एडजस्ट योर बेजी कर्व इन जेड लोकेशन टू अचीव द बेस्ट एंगल फॉर योर कैमरा You can also play with the scale value of Bezier curve. Now select the camera and play with the focal length if required. Now select only Bezier curve and camera, then make a duplicate by pressing Shift D. Click this camera icon to make the second camera as a active camera. Press zero for the camera view. Select second Bezier. कर्व एंड रिड्यूस इट्स स्केल वैल्यू बाई क्लिकिंग एस की एंड माउस सेलेक्ट द कैमरा एंड गो गो टू कैमरा प्रॉपर्टी इन व्यू पोर्ट डिस्प्ले इंक्रीज द पासपोर्ट कम्प्लीटली टू फोकस ओनली इन द कैमरा व्यू नाउ अगेन सेलेक्ट सेकेंड बेजी ए कर्व एंड प्ले विथ इट्स जेड लोकेशन एंड स्केल वैल्यू टू अचीव द बेस्ट एंगल फॉर योर सेकेंड कैमरा देन सेलेक्ट द सेकेंड कैमरा एंड इन ऑब्जेक्ट कंस्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी Play with the offset of follow curve for best position. One more time, only select the first camera and the Bezier curve, and make one more duplicate by pressing Shift D. Select the third Bezier curve and decrease its. स्केल वैल्यू क्लिक द कैमरा आइकन ऑफ थर्ड कैमरा टू मेक इट एज एक्टिव कैमरा अगेन इन कैमरा प्रॉपर्टी गो टू व्यू पोर्ट इनक्रीज पासपोर्ट कम्प्लीटली प्ले विथ द फोकल लेंथ एंड ऑल्सो विथ द जेड लोकेशन सेलेक्ट द थर्ड कैमरा एंड अगेन गो टू ऑब्जेक्ट कंस्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी एंड इन फॉलो कर्व प्ले विथ ऑफ सेट अंटिल यू गेट द बेस्ट पोजिशन फॉर योर थर्ड कैमरा Remember for make changes in the location and the scale value of the camera you have to select the bezier curve for first camera you have to select the bezier curve first for second you have to select the bezier curve second and for third you have to select the bezier curve third and for camera property focal length or follow path you have to select the camera Go to frame one on the timeline and make the first camera as a active camera by clicking the camera icon next to it. Move your cursor over the timeline and click M. Then go to mark bind camera to mark. Now we will bind all the three camera on the timeline one by one as you see in the animation. Then go to object constraint property and enter keyframe in offset at timeline one. Then go to timeline two fifty one. Enter one hundred in offset and enter keyframe. This will add a rotation motion in the first camera. Suppose you want to add the second camera in the frame ninety. For that, move the timeline to ninety. Make the second camera as a active camera by clicking the camera icon next to it. Move your mouse cursor over the timeline. Click M, then go to Mark and select Bind Camera to the Mark. This will assign the second camera from frame 90 up to the frame 89. The first camera is activated. After 90 frame, the second camera will activate it. We also want to add little bit rotation motion to the second camera. For that, go to Constraint Property at frame 90, enter keyframe in Offset, then move your timeline up to where you want the second camera, then increase the offset value little bit and enter keyframe. Again at frame 155, I want to set the third camera. For that, uh, go to frame 155 in timeline. Make your third camera as a active camera by clicking the camera icon. Then move your cursor over the timeline. Click M. Go to Mark and select Bind Camera to Mark. This will bind the third camera at frame 155. See the effect. And if you want to add some motion to the camera, you can follow the same step. And what if you want to add the first camera again at frame 215? You have to follow the same step. Do it yourself. See the effect. Add a cube to this scene because I am not liking this this boring black background. Now.
now it's time to add materials to the scene before that go to geometry node select the main object and to set material node this part is for the bottom and these nodes are for the spheres which we are created with cylinder then go to material property and apply a material and rename it as bottom part this is for bottom material click the plus icon and add one more material and rename it as cylinder and select the material name in the set material now go to setting tab and you can see both the materials are in two different slots so for making changes you can switch between slots so apply whatever material you want or follow according to me For upper part select slot 2. For these particles you have to apply material to the sphere. So select the sphere and apply a new material to it. I am applying the same material, material what we, I have applied to the bottom part. So click new and from the drop down select bottom part and click the number 2 beside it. Select the ground and apply a material to it also. Unhide the cube and apply the same ground material to it also. Now to render it in EV, enable all the th four options then decrease motion blur little bit then go to color management and in look select high contrast if you want to add depth of field you can add depth of field to to all the three camera one by one Now all done you can render it in EV but but if possible I will recommend to render it in cycles. You can increase the render maximum sample if your computer can handle it and also enable motion blur then de decrease its value little bit. Move this sphere from the camera view. Before final render, do some sample renders of each camera view to see everything is correct or not. If you are satisfied then go to output property select your location and name you can also create a new folder and i will recommend to render it as a png sequence then go to render render animation and if you want to render it as a video then follow these steps 